Hey guys, um, this is gonna be the last episode of Let's Build Together. Um, yeah, I recorded this episode before the Happy Hour video I posted yesterday, and I tried to upload it too, but, um, after five, um, unsuccessful tries to upload it, resulting in four different kinds of error and one repeat error, um, I've just resolved to try to re-record this and finally get this series closed, like, three days late. Because I know I promised through Twitter and all other kinds of things that I'd get it done two days ago. But, um, finally here it is. I'm going to try to get this uploaded to ASAP. And, um, let's go. Oh, first, uh, follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. That, uh, it's just, it'll help both of us a lot. So, um, if you want to hear updates on stuff like this, then uh, follow me on Twitter. My center forward is going to be the Argentinian from Madrid, Aguero, who I intended to have a sub, but um, I splashed all my cash on the pack, so I didn't have enough to go out and buy um, a Fabregas, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, it'll be all right. Or Kaká, because I know a lot of you voted for Kaká. Uh, my sub striker is Melito. Um, he still gets nine chemistry, as he's Argentinian and looks with Aguero. That is one of the amazing things about four four one one. And um, if you didn't know, I pulled this guy out of the pack during happy hour. So he first owner, and he's in my formation. I didn't change him into that. I just pulled him out of the pack in my formation. And uh, before I show you my starting striker, my sub for center forward is just going to be Rossi, because um, I already have him for my Italian squad. And, there wasn't really a whole lot of votes in the last video as far as center forwards go, except for Aguero and Kaká. And since I can't afford Kaká, I just went ahead and threw Rossi in there to fill in the spot. Um, my striker is um, Forland. Also, now the good thing about Forland is he's from Atletico Madrid, so he links really, really well with Aguero. And um, I could have got him out of my formation and still had non-chemistry because he's from Madrid, but uh, I went ahead and paid 15000 for him in my formation, and um, you're probably going to have to expect to pay a good two to 3 k more than that, because I got him on a bid for pretty cheap, and I could easily sell him for a good profit, and I got him in my formation from the bid as well. Um, I paid 2500 for Aguero in my formation, which I think is pretty good, actually. And then, uh, real quick, let's take a look at Rossi. Paid 1600 for him. Some key stats. Forlan, um, he's got 89 shot, which is really, really phenomenally good. That's a really great shot. And um, other than that, his stats are pretty much just on par for strikers. Um, 82 dribbling is not outstanding, but it's good. Same thing for 84 pace and um, 80 heading. 72 passing is really good for a striker if you're into tramps. Um, I don't do him too much in this formation just because Aguero usually doesn't get up next to Forlan anyway. But uh, he has the pace to do it since he's 88 pace. And 85 shots, pretty good. By the way, um, he's right footed and so is Forlan. Um, Aguero's passing is only 70, which definitely isn't sterling for a center forward. But um, I kind of play him as a striker anyway. Um, I don't really play him as a traditional center forward because my most of my goals really come from my left and right mids anyhow. I don't usually take the ball up the middle. I like to try to take um, Jesus Navas or, well, actually, I should say Di Maria because I'm putting Di Maria in now. And I'm going to swap these guys around as well. So um, it, I use the run up the ring with Di Maria's 86 pace or Jesus Navas 90 pace. And um, against slower, slower defenses, you usually don't have to like make a skill run. You know, you see in videos where you run up the wing and then cut to the middle towards the goal and do skills. Usually, you can just outpace the wingers and then just cut right to the middle and go around the entire defense. And that works really, really well with these wings because I mean, it's almost too easy. They just run around the entire defense in a big old circle. Um, that's really going to be it for this video. Real quickly, I'm going to sh uh, show you my uh, tip and league and squad. Uh, this is supposed to be an all-silver squad, but this guy was so cheap, I went ahead and bought him for 1300 
my formation. But uh, Shelton has 93 pace, so I do that a lot with Shelton on counterattacks, and that's what gave me this idea to do that. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to point that out, that uh, Shelton is an amazing player just because of his pace. Um, his shot's only 65, but uh, when you're right up against the goalkeeper inside the box, you don't really need a better shot than that. He misses a lot, but uh, what can you do? Olsen's pretty fast, too. Anyway, that's going to end this video. I didn't mean to direct tip the link into this, but I figured it might as well throw it in. Um, if you care about this squad, just check my channel. And there's a I made an individual video for this particular squad going over who I like. The only person that's not on this video is the infirm, not infirm, inform Skelgebred, who um, he's not really anything special. He's just there to because he's inform and he's a lot better than my other center attacking mids. And he doesn't bring my rating up too much, so I just decided to throw him in anyway. But uh, before this video gets too long, I'm going to cut this out. And um, if you're watching this and it's still the 28th of June, I will have a pack opening video up today as well as a follow-up to the happy hour. And from now on, I will be doing a lot of pack opening videos probably every day um, with an occasional like Tom squads if I decide to buy or actually more like when I decide to buy more squads, I'll definitely have more on the way as these squads that I have now just, I don't know, I'm not really satisfied with the eight I have. I kind of want more. It's fun building squads. Anyway guys, sorry if I wasn't very enthusiastic in this video. I wasn't, I'm kind of frustrated with YouTube and my internet connection at the moment because it's been going on and off all, all the last three days and I haven't really been able to play Xbox any year really even do anything electronic but uh that'll be all right maybe i'll go outside or something probably not but uh thanks for watching guys i'll catch you next time